Hello YouTube! Welcome to another comparison video. In this video I will compare different wood saws from Leatherman with the wood saws from the Victorinox Multi-Tools. In the last comparison video I compared the wood saw from the Gerber Diesel, from the Sock Powerlock, from the Leatherman Charge and from the Victorinox Swiss Tool. The Leatherman Charge and the Victorinox Swiss Tool was far and advanced over the Sock and the, and the Gerber Diesel. I realized that Leatherman has different wood saws on almost every model. So that's why I wonder if every wood saw works as well as the Letterman Charge do. That's why I took all Lettermans out of my collections and I want to compare it to the both Victorinox multi-tools. Today I test the Victorinox Swiss Tool, the Victorinox Swiss Tool Spirit, the Letterman Search, the Letterman OHT, the Letterman Juice and the Letterman Charge. With every saw I make a saw cut with 20 strokes and after I make a second cut for confirm the result. Please keep in mind that these knives are all out of my private collection. They, they, are, they have a different age and they are used to a different degrees. The Victorinox ones are for sure the ones I use the most. Just in case someone thinks this test is not fair, Felix prefer the Victorinox ones. After this test, I give you my conclusion. Let's start. So let's start with the Victorinox Swiss tool. Victorinox Spirit. Let them in search. Let them in OHT. Let me choose. And let me charge.
on my first Woodsaw comparison video, the link you find here, I was surprised how fantastic the Woodsaw from the, Victorian, uh, from the Letterman chart uh, performs. And I realized that almost every Letterman model has a different saw. And I wondered if every saw from the other models perform as well as the Letterman charge do. And that was the reason of this test. Now to my conclusion. Um, I'm disappointed about the performance from the Letterman OHT. No idea why Letterman mounts such a bad saw in this fantastic multi-tool. No idea. Um, the Letterman charge. All in all, I'm, yeah, I'm happy with the result from the Letterman charge. It performs not as well as the best, but you have this changeable T-shank system. And that means you can change the wood saw with every model you find in a supermarket. You can, you, can, you can choose a long one, a short one, a, a, a metal saw, a wood saw with big teeth, a wood saw with small teeth, a, a diamond coated saw or whatever you want. So that means you are very, very flexible with this system. The disadvantage is, in my opinion, a little bit that the saw is wobbling a little bit. But all in all, I'm really happy with this system. Cool. Um, the Letterman juice is a little bit smaller. I had some problems to hold it. I slept a bit away. But uh, yes, the, 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 the second cut was really good. So um, I think this is a, a really good saw. And the rest is about the same. Letterman charge uh, and Swiss tool and Swiss tool spirit is about the same. Um, this, the Victorinox ones are a little bit more aggressive than the Letterman, but the Letterman went smoother. And also, if you, if you look at the thickness of the blade, both Victorinox ones have a thickness of 2 mm and the Letterman ones has a thickness of 1.6 mm. That means the Victorinox saw is probably a little bit more stable, but in my opinion the Letterman went smoother. But the performance is about the same. So my friend, that's my conclusion to this saw test. I hope this video was interesting for you. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao!